I guess because we're paying for it. East Coast what? A bum gum makes a lot more sense. This used to happen to me all the time. I literally have no clue at this point. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I haven't done a sit down video like this in such a long time. I've been doing so much vlogging recently on the go as much as I can so um, yeah if you guys haven't caught up on my videos I will leave a playlist up here for all my vlogs if you want to go check them out. I am in a particularly good mood today um, which hasn't been coming around too often recently considering everything that's going on at the moment um, with phase two and all of that in Singapore but I am feeling very positive today so that is good news. What I thought it'd be fun to do today is share some things in Singapore that foreigners maybe can't live without especially after they leave Singapore or if you spend some time out of Singapore after living here you'd be like you know what these things in Singapore are actually amazing and I think we're all at a time right now where we're feeling quite unsettled in Singapore I think everyone has cabin fever we're all itching to kind of get out and explore somewhere new we haven't been able to travel for what's it now like a year and a half and if you don't know already, Singapore is such a tiny island, so we all feel quite confined and um, we're all feeling a bit restless. But as much as we complain, I think it's important to realize what we do have and we definitely take things for granted. So let's take a moment today in this video to reflect on what we do have, show our appreciation, and uh, yeah, let's let's spread some positivity. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Georgia. Um, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. And also, you can go find me on Instagram at the Vintage Vision. I upload to my stories over there every day, so you can kind of see what I get up to um, outside of YouTube. I also want to give a quick shout out to my Singapore ebook guide, which I actually wrote. If you are thinking of relocating to Singapore, maybe you're moving here soon. Um, I wrote an ebook guide so I will leave that in the description box below also if you want to go check it out and without further ado let's go ahead and get started one thing to be grateful for and something that foreigners I'm sure they don't take it for granted is the food available in Singapore obviously but I'm gonna talk about Hainanese curry rice because I have had an obsession with Hainanese curry rice for a couple of years now and it is honestly my guilty pleasure food I want to give a shout out to Beach Road Scissor Cut Hainanese Curry Rice. If you guys haven't tried it, oh my God, it's literally life-changing. Now, it is probably the sloppiest, most unappealing looking dish you'll ever see, but looks are deceiving and it tastes absolutely heavenly. It's not healthy by any means, but it is the most like indulgent comfort food ever. And oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do without Hainanese Curry Rice. Okay, let's take a moment to be grateful for the flowers that line the ECP. If you've ever driven down the ECP, which is the East Coast, what is it? East Coast what? East Coast Parkway, why didn't I know that? Parkway. Yeah, if you've ever driven down there, you will know that it's probably one of the most scenic, beautiful roads in Singapore. And honestly, every time I drive through it, I, I film it every time, because I'm just like, this is so beautiful. The trees are absolutely stunning. I don't know the name of the trees. If you guys know, every time I see the trees, I say they're like the trees from Africa. If you guys know the name of the trees, please do let me know. They are absolutely stunning. And then it's just lined with all these beautiful flowers. And every time I drive down there, I'm just like, oh, we are so lucky to live in such a beautiful place. So yeah, it's the little things, guys. It really is the little things, especially during these trying times um, that can kind of lift your mood and, uh, make you grateful. Okay, I know I've spoken about it before, but reliable transport, um, it's not until you leave Singapore that you realize how incredible the transport is here. Some Singaporeans will beg to disagree, but I'm telling you, unless you have left Singapore, you don't know how good you've got it. And for sure, it's something that, I don't know, I don't know where in the world, else in the world it will be that efficient. Certainly not in the UK, that is for sure. Public transport is so expensive in the UK. So for example, I live 20 minutes from King's Cross Station back in the UK, and just that 20 minute train ride outside of London into my hometown costs me the equivalent of $40. One way, oh no, is it, is it return? Yeah, return, but that was with a rail card and I don't even have a rail card anymore. So I dread to think how much that would actually cost. I am so thankful that we can so easily access anywhere in the island in literally no time at all. And obviously taxis are really reasonably priced here as well. It's 
especially in comparison to the UK. So just before we continue, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is once again, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step into their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and much more. So I've actually been looking to get more plants for the apartment and so I've been watching a class all about plants. It's called Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space by Christopher Griffin. So if you are a curious and creative person like myself, there are so many creative classes on Skillshare for you to choose from. And also a lot of people are still in lockdown around the world. There's no better time to hone in on a new skill. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects which obviously makes for a really engaging way to learn. And they also have classes to fit your schedule and skill level. So if you guys are interested in learning something new, the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description box below will get a free premium membership to Skillshare and you can explore your creativity. Okay, let's continue. Another point, and I think this is really relevant, there was a story that came out recently, a few months ago, about a young lady in London who was walking home one night and ended up being murdered. It was a horrendous story, um, and they couldn't find her for a few days, but it definitely created more awareness online about women's safety. I would say, as a young woman in the UK, on a daily basis, we are like sexually harassed on the streets. Um, you can just be walking down the street and you'll be catcalled or fearful that men are going to say something. It usually tends to be builders um, or a group of lads. You'll always avoid them. Like, like as a woman, we are constantly on edge and thinking about our next moves. This would happen like on a daily basis. Um, it was only the other day, actually. I think someone honked at me in their car the other day. And I thought, oh my God, like it just kind of brought all these memories back because that, that literally never happens to me here in Singapore, but it just brought all these memories back, like this used to happen to me all the time. Um, and it's something that's, that, that I guess young women are super aware of, but we're kind of just told that like, you just have to get on with it and it's just how it is. And it's horrible, like it makes you feel super uncomfortable. You know, we can't walk home alone at night. We'll always be calling friends or family if we are walking home alone at night in fear for our safety, just in case something happens. And all of these things make you realize in Singapore just how lucky we are. And I'm not saying that it's, it doesn't exist in Singapore, but honestly, I, we are so lucky here that we really don't have to deal with that um, half as much. I mean, I barely, I've had probably like two incidences in six years. I've been super, super lucky. It's just something that if, when I eventually leave Singapore, I, I know it's going to be a shock to the system to kind of have to go back to that way of life. Um, but yeah, it's just such a pleasure not to have to worry about those kinds of things here. Like I can run at night, I can go for a run, I can walk at night without fearing for my safety. That's not to say that you, you know, shouldn't be aware of your surroundings and things, of course. Just the fact that I feel that I can do that without having to worry or having a thought in the back of my head like, oh, like this feels uneasy, this feels a bit dodgy. Like I honestly never have those, those feelings. So that is something I'm very grateful for. Okay, another point is getting a medical appointment like quickly at the drop of a hat. Again, in the UK, this is something that would could take weeks or months. If you have like an important hospital like appointment, it could take weeks or months. You could be on a late waiting list for that long. In Singapore, I guess because we're paying for it, <laughs> um, you can get a medical appointment like probably the same day. Like it's unbelievable. And that's something again, that I'm so grateful for. If there's something urgent or something that you wanna get checked out, you can get a medical appointment really, really quickly and efficiently, which is incredible and something that I appreciate a lot. Okay, another point is seeing friends easily. In the UK, because it is a bigger country, we can have friends scattered all over the country. So some could be like two hours away, three hours away. Seeing friends that live a few hours away, it kind of becomes like a maybe once a year thing or a once every six months kind of thing that you're seeing them, which is crazy to think because I think like in Singapore, we don't realize how lucky we are that we get to see, see friends like at the drop of the hat because we all live pretty close together. Most of me and my friends live in the city. And obviously because it's such a tiny country, you can hop on public transport and see them like within like 20 minutes or something. I definitely have a better social life here than I did back home. But then that was a long time ago, so 
We can't talk about Singapore without giving a shout out to the malls and the airport, obviously Changi Airport. When it's open and fully functioning and we can actually fly out of Changi Airport, um, it's honestly, in my opinion, one of the best airports in the world. Not only is it absolutely stunning, especially Jewel, Ch Changi Jewel, um, but it's just so efficient, so fast. Um, and it makes traveling a dream. But again, because Singapore's so small, it's only like, well, it depends where you live, but 15, 20 minute drive to the airport and through check-in within, it could be like 10 minutes. It's so quick and easy. It's just a dream. It's just one of the most efficient airports ever. And I cannot wait to start traveling again. Shall we leave a, uh, shall we have a little vote? Leave your comment below and let me know when you think we will be able to fly again. Let me know the month and the, and the year that you think we'll be able to travel in and out of Singapore again. I literally have no clue at this point. It feels like a never ending nightmare. I think everyone in Singapore, we're just absolutely itching to travel. We're just waiting for at least one travel bubble to pop up, so yeah. All right, let's end it on a funny one. Um, life has taken on a new meaning with with a bum gun. Um, I'm gonna show you my appreciation right now for the invention of the bum gun. If you don't know what a bum gun is, I don't think that's its technical term, but it's basically that hose that is situated next to the toilet, which you use to clean yourself up. And I will admit, when I first moved to Singapore, I saw that and I thought, I am never using one of those, that's gross. And I don't know why foreigners have the perception of that being gross, when in reality, it's cleaner than not using a bum gun because <laughs> we're getting a bit graphic now but normally you know if you're using toilet paper it can take <laughs> take a while to clean yourself but with a hose literally like a couple of squirts and you're clean you're good to go and yeah i just think hygiene wise a bum gun makes a lot more sense it really does yeah if i have a home in the uk i'm gonna make sure that i have a bum gun installed because it's it's changed my life what can i say so if you guys are also a fan of the bum gun, do be sure to leave a comment below or thumbs up the video. Oh, I never thought I'd be talking about that on YouTube. So yeah, they are a few uh, things that I really appreciate in Singapore. If you are Singaporean or you're a foreigner in Singapore, do be sure to leave your comments below and let me know what you appreciate in Singapore. Maybe take for granted. When you leave Singapore, you realize how good something is here. So yes, leave a comment below and please be sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. It always helps me out a lot. It helps my videos to be seen by other people and it really means a lot to me. Again, be sure to check out Skillshare. I'll leave them down below in the description box and uh stay positive everyone let's let's keep smiling thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you in the next one bye Perfect. Perfect.